hospital. I right. said, well, just let me out. Uh-huh. And when, when he did, I walked in the back door, uh, back door and then I said, ladies, if y'all, if you don't want me to bleed all over your floor, right. put me in a room. That's all <laughs> I did. So they came and got, got me. And, and so in the meantime, I had two guys helping me over there. Right. <laughs> I said, look, I called them. I said, go to the tower, follow the blood trail. And find my finger. Find your finger. Yeah. I had my, I had my finger. With it. <laughs> and they called back, we can't find your finger. Oh, no. I said, you mean you let that crow eat my finger? <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all, y'all look at here. This is Mr. Benny Kyle right here. He's on his 850K dozer right here. Just driving. I'm out here at the Kiora site. Stop by. He's, he's working on the old chip mill right here. He stopped and got to chit chat with him. Didn't even know him or anything. I've heard his name for years. Got to talking to him, so I'm gonna film him a little bit on his on his uh, 850k, and I've been talking to him for about an hour now, and he's he's missing. So that story that y'all just heard right there, a little bit of, he's missing a finger. He left a finger somewhere, and so it's gone. So he's telling me the story about that. So, Mr. Benny, I appreciate you. You might well let me well. film you here for a little bit and everything. I I enjoy seeing people, meeting people, and new people, you know, and stuff like that, you know. I I enjoyed stopping to take the trip. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So we're gonna film Mr. Benny. I actually I got his phone number and everything. He's got some other equipment too. Got got an old. You said a versatile tractor, an old one. Two thousand five model. Two thousand oh two thousand. So it's a later model one then. Okay. It's a good tractor. Yeah, cool. Got some big old pans behind it. So we're gonna film him running here for a little bit on this dozer here. So that's an 850k bulldozer right there john deere he said that thing came from uh, new york up there so this is the old uh chip mill hardwood chip mill just right beside where keora was and what he's going to do he's going to level all this out right here where i'm actually standing this is where the crane rotated around I'm actually on the pedestal, the center pedestal, where the main pivot was for the crane right here. So you gotta take all this, shove it all out right here. the ring of the where the track was laid that crane made a complete circle all the way around
So he had this thing angled down where he's pushing in there. See that water down there? So that uh, the butts of the trees were down there. You know, a tree shaped like a carrot. So it had an angle. So as they stacked up higher, the pile would level out. And then they had that, they had a basically a ditch all the way around it where they could pump water on it too if they ever needed to. And it would catch it and run it back off to where they could re-pump it back up again. Bill's a good dozer. There ain't no doubt about that. Hey, you 50, that, them things are tough too, boy. See, see all that's real dark colored right there? That was where they piled all the bark at right there. They'd pile it up and then they'd put it on a barge and get it out of here or do whatever they had to do with it to get it going. But that's, that's the reason why all that looks like it right there. You can see that pedestal. That, there ain't no telling how much concrete is underneath that. Well, it looks like the footing of it is way out there. See it right there? See, he's hitting that side of that footing right there for that pedestal. That's a chunk of concrete right there. He's trying to cut right along the edge of it. There he was. He uncovered it. I can see it behind the blade right there just then. It's right there in that edge.
he's rubbing on top of it now. You see the dust? There's no telling how much concrete is underneath this thing right here. <laughs> they unloaded. See where it goes all the way out to right there. Man, they unloaded thousands of loads out here at this place. I haul, there's no telling how many loads I hauled in here. We'll walk, walk around over here. So you can see here's the other side of the concrete right there. I'll show y'all. Look, you can see the layer. This is where the tracks ran. It, the tracks ran around in a circle right here. You see the sand, and then they got clay, and then the rock on top of it. Railroad track. That's what was on top of that. I'm going to stop the camera right quick, and I'll get over here. So I told him, I said, I'm going to get my drone out too and I'm going to film you. But uh, very cool to be able to, you know, just run across somebody like that and, you know, talk to him. And I'd seen he was out here the day before, but uh, he was already gone the time I got out there. So I was actually going out there to see if Brian's guys were out there working or not. And I was going to see if they were going to work Saturday and try to find out what, what their game plan was and, so all of them were completely gone and uh, Mr. Benny right here and I just he pulled up there and, and sat down and started talking and I you know I told him who I was and and uh just I told him what I you know what I wanted to do, what I did on YouTube and all that stuff like that and so we we just kinda hit it off and uh and we he he said he said, Man, he said, You can film me anytime you wanna you wanna film so I said, well, I'm going to grab my, my good camera. He's talking about his finger getting cut off, and that was pretty interesting. I didn't have my camera with me. All I had was my phone, so I snatched my phone out real quick and started recording that where you could where you could hear, you know, hear what he was saying. And uh, just a hardworking guy, man, you know, just like everybody else, just like all of us and me and y'all, just, just trying to make a living, you know. And they're trying to get this, the county is wanting this site kind of cleaned up and dressed up right here. I think they got somebody they're fixing to bring in, a potential uh, person that might be interested in this area here where Kior is and and uh maybe build something. I don't I don't know what it is, but they're gonna go ahead and and knock it out and, and clean it up. Now Mr. Benny's not gonna he's not gonna get that concrete and stuff up that you see me walking around. He's just not set up to do that. He's just gonna level everything out and smooth it out. Is the biggest thing he's going to do, but uh, this was a, a lot went on down here during the years while this thing ran in uh, the old chip mill there, and it's hate to see it go because that was a wood outlet for us to be able to unload at and and uh, take wood to that was local and uh, close by, wasn't very far, very far away, so. Uh, Mr. Benny farms a little bit too. He farms, said he farms about 600 acres of soybeans by himself. And uh, so maybe I'll run across him again while he's on a tractor somewhere because there's no doubt in my mind he, he'll uh, he'll accommodate me however I, however I need to. So 
I just like running around, you know, seeing what all I can film or just anything like this. I'm just an equipment nerd, man. I love heavy equipment. Doesn't matter where what it is, you know, running it, filming it, talking about it, you know, whatever it may be. So, uh, and then the rest of this video here too, I kind of take y'all on a tour around the uh, the mill site here and show you how it was laid out and how it uh, how it used to work, where you come in with the trucks and and all that. It's pretty interesting as I show you the where the chipper and uh, all that stuff was. All right, so what you did is you come in. There's a the gate over there. You came in through the gate. There's a set of scales right there where that sign is right there. That scale house there. You wait in right there, and you came off the scales, and you made a you made a loop out, and then you shot up here. The chipper sat right there on top of that tall concrete. You pulled out there just like that. This concrete right here had a drum debarker sitting on top of it, and right here, where these places are, this is where the where the crane dropped the trees into the bend to go into the debarker to be debarked before they went into the chipper. So you would back up right here to where that concrete is right there. That was kind of the wall stop to stop you if you didn't stop. And so the crane dropped down and, and grabbed the whole load. Well, about right in here is where it grabbed at. The boom kind of stretched out a little bit. So it picked up the load and then it either stacked it around that ring or it grabbed it and it dropped it into this bin right here and fed into that drum debarker it was spinning around and around and it ran it all the way down there to the chipper and went straight into the chipper chipped it if they were feeding it straight on the barge it went right in onto that conveyor went right out there dumped into the barge in the river out there if they were not dumping it out there they could dump they could actually put it over here too the chips over here if they had to and would stack them. It was a small place, man, but they they did a lot here for a lot of years. I think this thing opened in about 1987. I was still in high school when it opened, and I, I remember I remember when it opened because it opened up a market here uh, for us to haul hardwood putwood to because there wasn't one here before that, and it still ran uh, on up. They ran it a little bit, 2012, and and it was it was done. And then it hadn't ran. It it, it didn't run. And then they come in there and they took a lot of the stuff, scrapped it. But yup, no chip market. You know, everything you know, everything's all depends on markets. What markets do, and they're up and down all the time. But uh, this is a chunk of concrete right here. I don't know how thick this stuff is down through here. And then where that chipper set down there. Let's walk down here and check it out right quick. I've never walked up to this concrete where the chipper was. We'll see what kind of... Because it, uh, it was a high, high horsepower engine, electric engine that that pulled this chipper i mean when that thing was really chipping and you pulled up out here to unbind that chipper would be shaking the ground over here you could feel it when you got out of the dang truck it'd be shaking the heck out of the ground there's a bunch of old wood there set my drone down right there that's a solid chunk of concrete. But man, that thing would just be just vibrating that ground just ferociously. That's a heck of a piece of concrete. That thing's about eight foot tall right there. About 10 foot wide. And that's a conveyor that went right out. The river's just right there. That's where the river is. That might be a little deep. No, I see the bottom of it right there. So they had a little building over here too, like a maintenance shed or something like that. I think they had all their sharpening stuff to sharpen the 
knives for the chipper over there and it maybe they ain't no tell how much electricity they burnt down here when they're running it in a month